Hi, I'm Chris. I am an owner at an entertainment uh, production company, and I would definitely give ProPresenter a 5 out of 5 rating. Before using ProPresenter, we used uh, two different programs. Uh, we used ScreenMonkey, which is a freeware, uh, just screen sharing app. And then we used uh, Microsoft Office's PowerPoint. Uh, it, they just didn't have the features that we really needed. Uh, we couldn't uh, share video uh, through them. We couldn't share a live feed through them. They were basically just generic presentation profiles. Uh, you could just send an image to a screen or send text to a screen. And that was as far as it went. Uh, so we really weren't able to use those to our full advantage. We went with ProPresenter because of the options for having movable backgrounds and for having multiple different displays at the same time. Originally, we were on ProPresenter 6, which natively supported at least two different displays and the stage display as well as the audience display. The stage display was super important for us because our technicians could see what was going on and what was coming up. And then obviously the audience display was good for the audience. We liked the movable backgrounds. They looked great at weddings as a background to a monogram with the bride and groom's name. Plus, we like them in uh, the worship church worship settings. You have uh, movable images, splashes of color floating around behind lyrics or behind what a pastor is saying. The native ability to uh, stream video to a window and to another screen was really important for us in ProPresenter. We were able to have a camera just sending directly to ProPresenter and then having an audience basically image magnification right out of the gate natively in the program. That was fantastic for us. We onboarded ProPresenter pretty easily, actually. Uh, it was a little bit of a learning curve for some of the non-tech native people. Uh, for me, I learned it very easily and was able to then train others on it rather quickly. Uh, it's a drag and drop program. So basically anyone who's used a computer in the last 20 years knows natively how it works. Uh, the starting at six and moving to ProPresenter seven was a little hard because we we're, we're mostly a Windows based company. But now that seven features a lot more Windows compatibility and is actually even better on Windows, uh, we, have, we have zero concerns teaching people how to use it. They pick it up really quickly, the program responds, and uh, it's, it's just a joy to use. So I would definitely recommend ProPresenter to anyone who's looking for something that they need a screen presentation program. Uh, obviously, the price can be for smaller operations a daunting. Like you look at that price and you're like, wow, but you'll have that program for years to come. Its longevity and its lasting will stick with your company and it will pay itself off in the ability to use it in so many different versatile uh, situations. Um, if you want something that has a dynamic image projection capabilities, then ProPresenter is really one of the only ways to go. If you're a house of worship and you uh, want to kind of streamline your uh, lyric to screen process. There are so many built-in uh, tools that you can have that just import directly. Uh, your CCLI works natively with ProPresenter. Uh, it's just a no-brainer for houses of worship. For entertainment companies, it's so easy to use. It, uh, it It's a joy having a moving background behind a uh, a presenter at a show, um, having whatever you want displayed with a click of a button. Really, there's very few downsides other than the price, um, but that will pay for itself over the multiple years that you use it without headache.